Okay, hey everyone, and a welcome in or a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you click the like, the subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Uh, hey guys, a uh, welcome in. Let's get into this new update on the documents in the Maya Miliete case detail police concerns about husband. This was out on July 30th, 2021. It is July 31st, 2021 at 9.40 p.m. Just got home from work and I'm like, let me get this video out. So we know that it's at a Chula Vista recently released unredacted documents detail the G violence restraining order filed last May against Larry Miliete husband of missing mother my Miliete documents reveal that police worried Larry Miliete may flee the state or country with his three young minor children or respondent will likely shoot it out with the police due to the photographs showing several unregistered and or illegal assault rifles with numerous ammunitions on the table in respondent's house after learning about the gun violence restraining order yeah people are asking too i'm going to touch on the comments from my last my video as well let's just go ahead and finish this article the documents also added that shortly after a search warrant was executed at the Milete's home, he purchases two more firearms in February and March of this year. Documents also included two photographs that police said were obtained from Milete's phone. One depicted a kitchen table with 16 firearms, four U.S. passports, a government identification card, several high-capacity magazines, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. The cache of firearms included two short-barreled AR-15 illegal assault weapon platforms, five undetermined legality AR-15 platform rifles, three pump gun shotguns, one bolt-action rifle with scope, and five semi-automatic handguns according to police well damn larry police said the second photo depicted miliete's four-year-old son standing on a table surrounded by the same cache of legal and illegal firearms and ammunition the child had immediate access to the illegal assault weapons and the 14 other firearms and ammunition creating a potential extreme danger to the child and those physically present at the home documents said the release of the documents comes a week after chula vista police confirmed that miliete had been named a person of interest in his wife's disappearance in the gvro last week miliete told kgtv via text message that he was just really disappointed following the gvro in may miliete claimed that police had illegally detained him during a search of his home the chula vista police held me for six hours while my home was being searched and they threatened me with being arrested or detained even longer if i insist on going home to my children and parents in my house miliete said in court documents maya has been missing since january 2021 since she was reported missing police say investigators have been combing through dozens of tips have served multiple search warrants and have conducted numerous interviews with family members and friends i will go ahead and drop the number to the san diego county crime stoppers below in the description let's go touch on the comments from last video and then we will go over these new court documents before we get into the comments guys real quick just listen to what mara chris and her husband say when they ask her the question about larry and amai and look it's mike king from profiling evil and richard from your observations was was larry in, in that relationship larry and maya was larry controlling it all was he 
mean, they've been together a long time, right? My understanding was they were high school sweethearts, but um, yeah. did he sort of um, control her and maybe she didn't want to be controlled anymore? De- definitely, yeah. There was a lot of um, places that we would go and he would always control where she went. Why did she take so long? Where is she at? She hasn't called me in five minutes. Stuff like that. Um, there's a bunch of incidents in Glamis when we went out camping. You know, you know, he would always keep an eye on her and make sure she's close by all the time. 15 comments. My favorite part. I think I can handle this. KB, finally, the great news. Now we just need him arrested and for Maya's family to get justice and the children removed. I agree. I dream of Joran. For the first time in his life, people are interested in Loatsome Larry. Jenna Lay, justice for Mai is coming. Amen. Hey, Gil Sharp. Oh, thank you so much, Monkey Mar. Finally, we have been waiting so long for some good news on this awful case. And to know Larry is now a person of interest. Hallelujah. Please now that CW is involved, get those kids out of the house. They need to be with their family and truly love them and have been working so hard to find my and to see the children. You've made my day. Aw, Gil. Alma, but they haven't arrested him. Ugh, so frustrating. It is frustrating. Gil comes back and says to Alma, it's coming. It's definitely coming. I agree, Gil. JC, great news. Yes, it is. A shredder taintment. Am I understanding that the kids might be suspect too? The four-year-old? No, I must have heard wrong. The four-year-old was actually standing in a picture, but they're saying how easy it is for the children to get to the guns. Four passports, ID cards, so like I just read in that last article, I think they're thinking that maybe Larry's going to take the kids and run. LS, great news. Georgia RG Woohoo, thank God. Amen. Miss Julie, hi, Monkey. Please also look at Brad's other account. This isn't just one person, it's a lot of women, kids, and even little babies. The account is Heavy Bee Productions. Get down records. The videos are at the bottom under his music. Look at Lord Footage account and look at Pizzagate, Crown Plaza. Lots of people have evidence of this, but he's the best. None is safe. I'm U.S. Please don't let your kids go anywhere alone, especially girls. She corrects with the end, Miss Julie. I'm definitely going to check that out, Miss Julie. Heavy B Productions. Get down records. I am making a note of that right now. All right, let's go um, touch on these court documents. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the link to the court documents so that you guys can scroll through them, take your time, and look at them. I think it's five pages. Here's the GV-100 petition for gun violence, a restraining order against Larry Meliete. It is, I think, six pages. I am not going to read this document to you guys. I am going to attach this link down below in the description so that you can check it out. On the first page, it lists 1 through 14, all of his firearms. Number 7 talks about the children being in danger with the firearms in the house. You can't make it up. Like, even, like, who has four passports? Now, it makes you wonder, uh, were they leaving the country? I got a lot of comments that people were just like, oh my gosh, what is it like? Is he starting a war? Is he leaving the country? Why all the passports? Eight pages. He had a lot of unregistered firearms. So guys, if you're bored, I've already read the document. Check it out. Print it. I don't know. (laughs) I hope Larry's going to be arrested soon. I mean, if he has all of these unregistered weapons and illegal weapons, why has he not been arrested for that? Maybe they're waiting until they have exactly what they're looking for i think they're closing in larry boy i think they're closing in and it's about time all right let me think if there's anything else you know what let's go touch on the poll comments real quick when i showed the pictures of all of his weapons okay i'm only going to touch on the comments on the clear picture of 
my community post a week ago. Cynthia Carter says, who needs this many guns in a home with wife and children? How many passports does he need? This is dangerous in my opinion. Lady B, that's an impressive and expensive collection. One man crew. Oh my God, this guy is sick. Yep. Jabber Jaws. I like that name, Jabber Jaws. Where are they all locked up out of the kids' reach? Are they all registered? Nope. Why so many passports? I don't know. Kids are too young for passports, right? Did he have concealed carry license? I'm all about gun rights as long as you're legal and safe. With that many kids, you would definitely have to take serious steps in keeping them locked up as you would with just one child. How many shots were fired on the neighbor's ring doorbell cam? Sorry, haven't been following this case closely. Please let this woman be found. My heart breaks for her babies and her family. Mine too. Wasn't it like six or seven shots? I have it on one of my Maya videos. Susan Summer, wow, that's a lot of guns. Sure is. Matt. Hey, Matt asshat get those kids out asap i agree i don't know why they're still in there especially with some of those guns being illegal and unregistered larry christy nolan holy cow for every young wowza that's horrific if that's a legit picture of lm stash who needs this many firearms oh that's his stash della curtis is he selling or going to war they said earlier in the video it was either he was going to barricade himself and fight till the end or with the passports he was leaving. I don't know where he's leaving with that many guns. He's going to need like an army tank. Nice collection. Proud to be American and everyone's right to bear as many. No. You. That's not even. That's not even cool, dude. David Jr. I'm for the Second Amendment, but this is crazy. I bet the passports are fraudulent too. What a loser. Yeah, see. There's. You know, he's going in here, Avgrim, everyone's right, but he has illegal and unregistered firearms, okay? That's not right. Me too, some people collect shoes. This guy Larry is just compensating for having small feet. You know what they say about guys with small feet? Oh, I do. Crazy, crazy life, yeah, I'd say that's something worth worrying about if he was a former gang member, I mean... Are all those registered in his name legally? And nope. Can't they get some RICO Act violations going or something? He may have done wrong to get him away from those babies. I actually really think that time is running out for him and that he knows it. And that is a very scary thought. Oh, I agree now. Human animal fart. <laughs> Joey the Catcher. When people are this extreme, it makes me wonder what they think they're lacking inside. These aren't antiques, no longer functioning and kept like a collection. I'd be okay with that. I'm okay with people owning handguns if done correctly. Larry is overcompensating for something perhaps. Ugh, I hope it's not too much longer. Maya's found and her family brought a little more peace knowing some justice will be found. Oh, I like your name. Go F yourselves. People keep asking who needs that many guns. That is not evidence of anything. It doesn't matter if you have one gun or a hundred. Larry was investing in guns and ammo for resale. It's called an investment. Okay, I get that. But why guns that are illegal and unregistered with kids? And then why have your four-year-old child up there posing with that many weapons? Like that part's not cool. You can collect as many guns as you want, but some parts are just um, not in good taste, in my opinion. Sassy Scour, your comment is not showing, but let me read it. Nobody should have that right to amass arms in this manner. It's obsessive to the point of extreme, which can be indicative of deeper psychological problems. Gave me goosebumps in a pit in my stomach looking at the photo. God bless Maya and her children. I agree. Like, don't get me wrong. You can have 500 guns in your collection, but should they be illegal and not registered, in my opinion? And with your four-year-old child on the table? And no. My opinion. But go F yourself. Um, you're welcome to leave your opinions because everyone has their own opinion. And I totally accept that. So with that guys i think that will do it 
for uh, this uh, video. And hopefully, Larry, you know I don't like you. You're probably not listening, but I don't like you. I think I, you know where your wife is. And I hope they arrest you and put you in jail soon. Real quick, let me check what the age is for a child to get a passport in the United States because I traveled to Europe when I was, I think I was 15, 16 the first time, maybe 14, and I had to get a passport. Larry has three children and himself, four, international travel. I don't know where he would go international. Hawaii is not international, and he was actually raised in Southern California. Then they moved to Hawaii. International travel. Regardless of age, all children need a valid passport for air travel to another country. The application process for children under the age of 16 needs to be completed in person. And then what needs to be done to get the document. So yes, if Larry was planning on leaving the country, the babies would need passports. Canada. I don't know about Mexico though. I think he might be able to get in there with a driver's license. Alright guys, so with that little bit of information, anything else for this video? I'm gonna have to say a no. Alright guys, drop them comments, drop them opinions, and with that it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant. I am out.